In this example, we're going to discuss using the markup formula to actually find the markup rate. The markup rate is R, which is a percentage that will result into a decimal and then we'll just change it into percentage. The cost to a distributor for a product is $34. The distributor sells the product for $58 to his customers. What is the markup rate? Be sure to round your answer to the nearest whole percent. In other words, 0.435 would be 44%. So the cost in which the distributor put, purchased the product was $34. But when he put the product on his shelves and customers started to purchase it, he sold it for $58. So notice there's some difference here between the price he paid the vendor for the product and then the price he sold to the customers. And we want to find this markup rate, which would be a percentage. So using the formula above, S is the selling price. The selling price is the price we sold to the customers, which was $58. C is the cost in which we, the distributor purchased the product, which was $34. And R is the markup rate, which we were trying to find anyways, so that is unknown. Putting this into the formula, S equals C plus RC, we get 58 equals the cost, which is 34 plus the rate, which is unknown, times the cost, which was 34. Writing this a little nicer, we get 58 equals 34 plus 34R. This becomes a linear equation of one variable, which we have learned previously. So subtract 34 from each side, and we get um, 24 equal to 34R. And here, we can divide each side by 34, and therefore R would equal 24 over 34. Now this doesn't look much like a percentage at all, right? So we're going to go to our calculator and get a decimal representation. 24 divided by 34, and we get point seven zero five eight eight but then we'll go ahead and round to three decimal places so the eight makes um, the five round up to six so point seven zero six so once again the rate here is a decimal but we change that to a percentage so looking at the original problem it says round your answer to the nearest whole percent meaning point four three five would be forty four percent so if, if I rewrote this as a percentage, I would get 70.6%, but rounding to the nearest whole percent, 70.6 would round up to 71%. Therefore, the markup rate is 71%.